Hi there, Velo Vlogger here again. Uh, today we are going to open up the, basically the what I'm calling the electronic control panel. So where all the switches lie. Behind there is a printed circuit board, or I believe is what it stands for when they say PCB. So I have a loose connection. Katanga is really great uh, when I've had questions or any issues. They're really great at responding and stepping me through what I need to do. They plan on doing a write-up and provide all of their war owners with a manual on how to repair things, how to access things, also how to maintain your Velomobile or your wall. So they're really awesome at it. So let's dive further into the Velo than I have yet. And you're coming with me into the beyond. So to remove the panel, and get to the, the circuit board there. The first screw is here. And then there's one, two, and I think, a, no, I think just those other two, maybe one more. But this first screw is accessible through the front end of the wall with the nose off. And then there's also a little bolt back here that you have to hold on to to get it to, un, to loosen. So that is the first step. And again, the easy access to work on things in the wall is fantastic with the removable nose and tail. So I was incorrect about the two little screws over there. There was one more screw on this back side here and it just loosens it up. Um, there's just two screws holding this in so then that just slides away but as I slid it away looks like this might be the culprit. A connector came loose which was Stefan's at Katanga's thought is that it was simply just a connection. So hopefully that is all it is, because uh, I'm not much of an electronics guy or expert. I could solder, that's about it. Uh, but I did find out that I do have some friends that can help me read a map if I have any other issues or want to add things. So things, uh, it's good to, to know those kind of people. So let's dig in and pull this off. So here is inside there, uh, there was a little Velcro holding it at the top. It holds it tight. Uh, that is looking at the circuit board here. Very clean work, very nice. Uh, that probably even unscrews off there so I can get more access to it. But right now it looks like I just need to make that one connection. So let's try it out, get it connected, button backed up and test and see if everything works. So it was just a simple connector that I needed to connect back together and now my lights and turn signals work again. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, the horn still isn't working, which I already talked to Stefan, and, and I'll have a, another one shipped so I can swap it out and, and get that little siren working. It, it doesn't really do too much, but it gives me a little more confidence that when there's a car uh, on the road that might be at an intersection or looking to pull out, I can hit it, and maybe they hear me, maybe they don't, but it's worth having. So we'll get that taken care of and swap that out. I'll do a video when I do so you can see how that all works. Uh, other than that, Ride free, ride safe. 